there and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Keep putting my fingers on top of my name. <laughs> okay, so in this video, as promised, I wanted to talk about what angels and guides are to me, what I understand that they are. Uh, I remember having a conversation with a friend once, my friend in New Zealand that asked me to write that book. She told me, oh, you have to write this book. It's so amazing, you know, with all the experiences I had with the angels. Um, and she asked me once, what do they look like? You know, what, what happens? How do they come in? Anyway, so for me, I have specific archangels that I have a connection to, right? And they do look a specific way when they come in. But having said that, <laughs> okay. Um, so the angels that I work with, I work with Archangel Michael. I work with Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Raphael for healing, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron. And then I started off with those five and that was it for a really long time because I didn't really have a, a rejection or anything for them. I didn't have any ideas about them at all, right? Of who they were or what they were for or any of that. I used to just call them in and I would, you know, in meditation with my eyes closed, I would see them a certain way. Uh, and that's what my friend wanted me to describe. What do they look like? And, you know, blah, blah, blah. But they appear to me a certain way. And I understand now that I've had all the experiences I've had, that they show up that way because that is how I will accept them. I'm comfortable with them showing up that way, right? So sometimes, and this is the other thing, sometimes they don't even come the same way every time you know sometimes my angels come in with gowns on uh, sometimes they come in with white gowns if it's a really special healing or if it's a really special event I, I know once I see them in these beautiful white luminescent gowns that something amazing is going to happen something magical right uh, other times they come in dressed as warriors with armor on and swords and all sorts of things so it really depends on the healing and I have talked about Reiki before so for those of you thinking what healing what is she talking about I see them when I do Reiki when I do my Reiki healings that's how they started to appear to me the, the group of them um, originally I would see them up in the sky far away and I felt comfortable with that for a long time I was doing all my self healings and I would see them up there far away until one day as it says in the book they decided to come down and I came totally undone that day uh, just because I was overwhelmed by the love you know that was pouring into my heart from them into me you know um, what I realized with time was that they kept their distance because I wasn't ready to have them this close I wasn't ready they will always respect you your guides or whoever it is that's on the other side that wants to work with you um, these guides could be ancestors, they could be relatives that have already passed. It doesn't have to be angels or archangels, that's what's come in for me, you know. Uh, it could be aliens, you know, what we would consider aliens. They don't look like human beings, they don't have human form. Having said that, when I see Archangel Uriel, she comes in as a female. I always sense her as the female, all the others are male including Metatron, even though most of the time he does not come in in human form. But she will usually come in as a blackbird, a raven, a crow, something with black feathers. And sometimes she's half human and half bird, but always in black. It's very rare that I see her as something different. And uh, I just love that about her because I love birds. So <laughs> I love that from the very beginning, she came in that way. I wasn't expecting her to look that way. Uh, when I saw her, I was like, oh, okay. And for a long time, I used to call her in. I felt a need to call her in, but I didn't know why, you know? And with time, I've we've really made a deep connection, you know? Uh, especially when I see crows, you know, I'm, I'm out on the street, I'm driving around or I'm walking around and I'll see a crow or I'll see a raven and instantly I think, oh, she's with me, you know, she's there. And uh, I always say hello to her and I always tell her I love her and I just feel a really deep connection. Um, I don't know why she came in that way for me. I just know that's how she appears. So, you know, when, when I first started and they first started appearing, I didn't have an expectation of how they were going to appear either. 
the only two that kind of came in a certain way and I guess I had an expectation was Mother Mary and Jesus because of all the years in church and all the images that you see of them uh, that they came in a certain way which I guess I was expecting they were going to come in looking like that if you know what I mean but uh, for the most part for me Metatron comes in as things of nature like he'll come in as clouds or trees or rocks or mountains or that's how he usually appears lately he has been coming in in human form but for the most part no and um, the other three Michael Gabriel Raphael yes they come in human form my guardian angel also looks like he's in human form but uh, none of them have feet like they don't walk <laughs> um, and they all have most of them have wings I can't say all but they mostly have wings is how I see them when they come in now the way I see them is not right and it's not wrong it's how they appear for me so I wanted to be clear about that because as you step into more and more love and you start to really listen to the guides that are on the other side that are trying to guide you or give you um, guidance guidance is the word yeah because when we came our soul had a plan of what it wanted to experience and as we come in we forget what that plan is otherwise there's no point right you already come in knowing what it is <laughs> so the whole idea is we forget and we go through life stumbling you know stumbling in the dark trying to figure out what the heck are we doing here right until you slowly start to remember you slowly start to wake up now as you step into more and more love and you start to become more aware of who you really are you know that we are energy you know we're not this meat suit that we're walking around in we're actually energy and once you start to realize that and you can start to have communication with these beings on the other side in other dimensions you know that you can't see in this dimension yet uh, there are beings here on earth that can see them in this physical world you know uh, but for most of us we can't um, I've been blessed because a lot of people I talk to can't even see them in meditation you know when they they, they close their eyes and they go into a deep sort of trance like state which is what happens when I do Reiki I feel like I'm transported into a different I call it dimension into a different space it feels different it feels like there's no time there because when I'm in there I can be in there for 20 minutes and it feels like I've been in there for four hours depending on the visions I'm getting depending on you know the information that I'm receiving sometimes it feels like I've been in there for a long time uh, but then I come out and in the human world is like oh wow I was only in there for 30 minutes you know so <laughs> that was weird <laughs> but it feels different there you know when I am with these beautiful guides or even when I go into the Akashic Records that has a very similar feel to when I'm in this space doing Reiki healing or I'm with the angels uh, it has a very similar feel I'm not sure what it is if it's another dimension if it's a different space it just doesn't feel like I'm here in this space is all uh, so yeah the book is really about you know the new book about opening our hearts up to the love that we are so that these beautiful beings on the other side can start to communicate with you and show you how loved you truly are you know uh, because all the healings I've done every time they appear there is just so much love for each and every one of us you know there's nothing else and uh, it's such a beautiful thing to witness every time I've been in the healing and I've watched them work on others you know um, it's just magical it's just amazing uh, I wish you know as I'm doing the healings each time and when I've described it to other people that people could see you know uh, for themselves because in seeing for me in seeing is that I can feel it you know so oh that was the other thing you know that I was going to I was trying to say as well that many a lot of the people that I work with you know that are healers as well or mediums or whatever they actually work with the direct energy but they don't have the visions I have either you know that's why I say I feel I'm blessed that I can at least see them you know because for me in the seeing is that that love for me is amplified I can see how they love others you know the love that comes pouring out of them into others and uh, yeah it's just completely shifted everything for me like 
um it's just wonderful so yeah uh, keep an open mind i will talk in the next one about why for some of us they may not appear you know or what it is that's holding them back from communicating with you okay so i love you guys dearly i've missed you so much remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye for now